Welcome to Miss Crumring's Kindergarten Classroom. Today we will be going over our simple rules of the classroom. Our first rule is we listen to each other. Our second is hands are for helping, not hurting. Third is we use I care language. Fourth, we care about each other's feelings. Fifth, we are responsible for what we, for what we say and do. First, we will go, be going over listening and the correct ways we should listen to our friends. Always lend a listening ear to all of your friends because then they will be your friend for longer if you listen to them. Our second is hands are for helping, not hurting. We always use helping hands to aid our friends in sharing and helping them pick up their messes that they make. Our third is we use I care language. We will begin starting to help them use the words please, thank you, yes ma'am, no sir, and other words like that. We will also write letters to our friends about us liking them. And we will make projects like this because we are one big family. Our fourth is we care about each other's feelings. We will start off by reading Peacemaking Skills for Little Kids. This will help them start jumpstarting how they will peacemake with their friends. We will hug each other when we are sad. We don't like our friends to be sad. We only like them to be happy. Happy kids are always the best kids. Our fifth is we are responsible for what we say and do. If we make messes and we need to pick up our toys, we are expected to pick up our toys. If we make messes with our paints, we are expected to pick up our messes with our paints. Our five main rules are once more. We listen to each other. Hands are for helping, not hurting. We use I care language. We care about each other's feelings and we are responsible for what we say and do. A few more rules. Our first rule, well, pretty much our sixth rule, is raise your hand. If you have a question, need to go to the bathroom, or just want my attention, it is not polite to yell out my name or get up and tap me until I say something to you. Our second, seventh rule is to walk quietly with your hands behind your back down the hallways. Being quiet is always good for you and your classmates and the other students of the school learn better and focus on the things that they need to focus on.